Hello guys, let's see how face to face snapping works. Let's enable snap to face, select the face, then check align rotation to target, project individual elements, then the rotate, then enable the snapping. Let's see what happens. When you select our object, as you can see, the origin point is at the center of the mesh. So let's drag and try to snap it on the face. See, it's not snapping on the face because it's mainly snapping on the origin point of the object. Let's try to snap it on here. Same. So how to change the origin point? Select the cube, tap to edit mode, press 3, face selection mode. Select the face you want to snap, shift plus S, cursor to select it. Tap to object mode, object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now our origin point is changed to the center of the face. Let's drag it again. See, now it's snapping properly on the face of the surface. What if we want to snap it to the center of the face? So for that, select the object. Press 3, face selection, select the face where we want to snap. Shift plus S, cursor to select it. Tap to object mode. You see the cursor is now at the center of the face. So now select the small object. Object, snap, selection to cursor. Now it's on the center of the face. So normal cube is okay. So what about this cube? Let's select it. Let's change the origin point. Tap to edit mode, 3, face selection mode. Shift plus S selection to cursor, object mode, object, set origin, origin to cursor. Now the origin point is at the center of the face. So it should be work fine, right? Let's see. You see that it's not working fine. Let's move it here. Both plane, they are not working. So what's the solution? If you want to snap it properly, select the object, tap to edit mode, select the face, Press 3, face selection mode, select the face, click on this orientation, then a custom orientation by clicking on this plus icon. Let's name it custom. You see now we have a custom orientation. Tap to object mode, shift A, add a empty object. Select the empty object, orientation to custom. Go to object, transform, align to transform orientation. Now select the object, hold control, then click on the empty. Ctrl plus P, object, let's parent them. Now select the empty, press on N, make all the rotation zero. Change the orientation from custom to global. Now if we press on one, you can see the face is aligned with the grid line, but the rotation is totally messed up. So let's fix the rotation, let's fix the rotation. Minus 180, 90. Now we are done with our setup. Expand the empty, select the empty, then hold control and select the cube. Alt plus P, clear and keep transformation. Delete the empty. Now select our object again, control plus A, all transformation. Our cursor position is okay, but orientation is here. Let's change the orientation. Select the object, object, set orientation, origin to 3D cursor. Now if we try to move it, it will snap properly everywhere. No gap. Let's see here. See there is no gap. It's totally aligned properly. In both surface.